Hello, TBA, and welcome to Lockapalooza 2012. You know, uh, to most people, Hanukkah means two things. Presence, yes, obviously, but more importantly, latkes. Some people are latke purists, and they believe that latkes can only be made of white russet potatoes, egg, onion, starch, salt, oil, done. Maybe served with a little bit of applesauce, a little bit of sour cream. And that's cool. If you're in that camp, we got you covered. We're going to do a classic latke. We also have some cool latkes that we're going to do. We're going to do one with some beets, parsnips, some green onion, as well as potato. And we're going to finish it up with a dessert latke, a sweet potato dessert latke that is incredible. So come with me on my journey. Okay, so we're gonna start with a classic potato latke. I got two medium-sized potatoes here. To make fresh, great latkes, you gotta peel some potatoes. And you wanna get the peels off because you want that nice, beautiful, golden color. If you leave the peels on, your latkes will be fine, but they're gonna get a little bit dark. So I've got russet potatoes, which have the perfect starch content for a nice crispy latke. This is a really important technique to getting a uh, really crisp latke, and that's to get all the moisture out. So what I have here is some cheesecloth. You can pretty much get from any grocery store, right? And I've placed that over a bowl, and I'm gonna grate these right into the cheesecloth. Now, I, I like to hold the potato lengthwise and go along the grater so I get nice long shreds because I want the latke to have those lacy, super crispy edges. I mean, that's the best part about a latke, right? You get really crunchy on the outside, and it's a little bit soft and fluffy on the inside. Now, when I get to this point with the box grater, I, I mean, I could keep going, but at some point, you're gonna grate some of your finger into the potato, and if you're having a dairy meal, finger is not parved, so I would just save this for something else or, or, or toss it, move on to your next potato. And now is the very important moisture removal portion of the latke making. Initially, I'm gonna just take these by the handful and give them a little squeeze. All right. Now that was our initial drying of the potato, but now what we're gonna do is employ some salt. The salt is actually gonna help pull out even more water. So I'm gonna take one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, and I'm gonna to toss this through. The flavors for a latke are pretty simple. So you get a lot of the flavor from the plain old onion. So what I'm gonna do is here is just take the peel off this onion and we're actually gonna grate the onion and create like onion juice. Uh, I just, I love latkes so much. We have potato, we have onion, and now we start to squeeze. For the final squeeze, I'm gonna be using some leverage. So I'm gonna gather the cheesecloth all around this uh, wooden spoon here. So I have the onions and the potatoes, and then I'm just gonna get a nice good twist. And this, you just see, this starts to act. I just twist this spoon here, and you just see how much you really get out of there. A lot of the potato starch has settled onto the bottom of the bowl. We actually want to use that potato starch because it's going to help make a crispy latke. So if you pour out the water, you'll see that the potato starch has just settled. See that white on the bottom? Perfect. Let's bring it together. We have one egg, a half teaspoon of salt, about a quarter teaspoon of a coarse black pepper. And we're going to start with about two tablespoons of flour. Optional here. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. It's optional. What that does is it creates air pockets inside of the latke. It makes for a little bit of a fluffier inside. Some people don't like to go that route. That's cool, that's up to you. Now I'm gonna to bring together the starch, the egg, the flour, the salt, the pepper, and the baking powder. And then into that, and we're just gonna fold this all together. And you see now all of our hard work, they're squeezing, has paid off because you see how that mixture is just nice and together. And you know what? Sometimes a spoon just doesn't get the job done. Sometimes you just gotta get your hands in there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, TBA? You gotta get your hands in there. And that is a really, really nice mixture. We didn't have to add a lot of flour, just a couple of tablespoons. And now it's time to celebrate the Festival of Lights. I mean, what are we really gathered here for if not to celebrate the oil? So we have the oil. We have our potato mixture, and we have a cast iron skillet. Very important that our oil is at the right temperature to prevent greasy latkes. If the temperature is too low, it's gonna soak up a lot of oil, and we don't want that. So, how do we test that you have the right temperature? Well, you can use a digital thermometer, 
375 is actually good because as we start to add the lot, because the temperature is going to drop, and we want the oil to come back. But if you don't have a, if you don't have a thermometer, then what you're going to have to do is sacrifice one shred of potato. And if he dances, if the potato dances like a Maccabee celebrating the festival of lights, then, my friends, it is time to fry. So uh, roughly two tablespoons of potato mixture makes a good latke. And we're going to drop them in kind of rounded right into the oil. And you're going to flatten it a little bit. Now what you want to look for when it's time to flip the latke, you can see how the edges start to get a nice deep golden brown. To avoid a flip and splash, I like to use two smallish sort of spatula so I can get in there. So you can see I use one to kind of scoop and then one just go, ah, oh, that looks good. I would say that's about perfect latke color. Beautiful. So I'm going to remove these to paper towel, a little bit of salt on top, and they are never going to be quite as good as this. And you see, look at all the great lacy edges you got. So that's going to be extra crispy. It'll be nice and fluffy inside. I know these are going to be really hot. Let's do that. There you go. That is such a great classic latke. Super crunchy on the outside, a little bit soft on the inside. Perfect. For many of us, latkes begin and end here with this classic. However, we're just getting started. So now we're preparing for an alternative take on the latke. We're calling this the root vegetable latke because why, that's right. You guessed it. We're using some root vegetables. The root vegetables we're using are beets, because they're great. They're going to make it a really, really cool color. And parsnips, because they're like carrots, but cooler. They're kind of like the red-headed stepchild of the carrot. Like, the parsnip will show up in a soup in the background, but nobody ever brings the parsnip up to focus. So, we're going to give the parsnip some love. Kind of take the top off. I have so much stuff that I cannot tell you. I'm sitting in the splendor turning brown. I've made friends with the onions. We're going to use shallots. Instead of onions, shallots have a little bit of a more sophisticated flavor. I'm also going to add a little bit of a uh, green onion into it. Two eggs, about a half a teaspoon of cumin, coriander, white pepper, and a nice half teaspoon of black pepper. This is going to give it a little bit more of an exotic flavor, and I like it for this particular dish. So I'm going to just bring that together. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, another half a teaspoon of salt, and then in we go. About a quarter cup of flour. Again, because of the lack of starch and the beets and the parsnips, I'm going to add a little bit more starch to this one. Then I'm just going to bring this together. This is why I like to put the scallions in there. You see how those just nice little flecks of green pop out and all the pink and the red? Kind of looks like a flannel shirt I used to have. If this starts to give up a little bit more liquid, I might add a tablespoon or two more flour. But at this point, I'm ready to go into the oil. So before this starts to give up more water, let's head into the hot oil and make the root vegetable latke. Totally great and totally different from the classic latke. You still have that super lacy, crunchy exterior, but on the inside, the shallot is a whole different flavor, the green onion, that little bit of cumin and coriander is really nice, and then you get a, a little bit of sweetness from the beet and the parsnip as well, so totally different. And I'm going to show you how I like to serve these, but first, there's one more latke. Really cool. I figured 
You know what? If we're doing latkes, why can't we have latkes for dessert? You've had donuts before, right? It's just like donuts. They're fried in oil, except there's not as much dough. We're going to do a sweet potato latke, and the spice profile is going to be just like a sweet potato pie or a pumpkin pie. So a lot of those toasty fall autumnal spices, if you will. Now, I know some of you Weisenheimers are, are pricing, Adam, those that actually aren't sweet potatoes. Those are yams. You're right. They're yams. Sweet potatoes are actually kind of yellow and they look like potatoes, but you know, for the effect here, I want them to be orange. He's eating bread. These have a lot less water in them than the russets. There's not hardly anything coming out. But we're gonna do that same move. We're gonna toss them with a little bit of salt and that is gonna pull some more water out. Two eggs, brown sugar, nutmeg, clove, ginger, cinnamon, pinch of salt. Some people say that they don't like clove or they don't like nutmeg. I think people tend to use too much of these spices. So go easy. Go with one teaspoon of baking powder. I want it to get a little bit fluffy. Look at it. It's orange juice. But not really. It's not really orange juice. But you know some orange zest would be really good in this too. You could also throw a little bit of bourbon in this one. You could also Put another half a teaspoon of chipotle powder in this one, if you're into that kind of thing. A little bit of kick, a little bit of smokiness. I've done that. You see, I think that's the whole point, is we're saying, like, making a latke is pretty simple. Making a latke is, it's eggs, it's starch, it's potato. And then you could, you could have fun with it. Do some stuff with it. Now, you look at all this liquid that's coming out here, and you saw, before I did that salting move, nothing was coming out. And this really is the trick, I'm telling you. I've, I've made latkes a bunch of different ways, and when you don't go to that extra step to get the moisture, it'll be good, it'll be a little crunchy, it'll be like, eh, crunchy, but this, they get crispy. Oof. And they go, look at that. About a third of a cup of flour on this one. And again, employing the best mixer. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you, but I use freshly ground spices. If you can, I recommend buying whole cloves, whole cinnamon, whole nutmeg. If you can, and using a spice grinder, like a little Mr. Coffee or whatever, I have one that is just for spices. And again, take a look at what we see. Isn't that what we like? We've seen that before. Nice, stiff mixture, should stand up at attention when provoked, fully mixed in. Let's head to the oil. It smells like sweet potato pie. That's what's going on right here. All right, I'm gonna finish off these sweet potato latkes and then I'm gonna show you how we like to serve all the latkes we made today. Well, I hope that we've proved that you can enjoy latkes for three square meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, here's how we like to enjoy them. The classic, of course, applesauce. Doesn't get more simple than that. Classic flavor, it's what I grew up on, it's what I love. Here's a root vegetable latke. You can see we put a little Greek yogurt, some scallions on this one. I'm getting a little fancy with a little Nova. Huh? A little smoked salmon on the latke? Nothing wrong with that. And then finally, the sweet potato latkes for dessert. But you know what? They look, they look like they need something. That's right. What do they need? Sweet potato latke with vanilla ice cream. I hope you latke purists will Indulge me as I enjoy this. Enjoy your luck in Palooza. TBA, keep it real. See you next year. Mm. Wow.